first as the Devils work it in front and a shot from the right circle is gloved out of the air. Pokes at it but can't get it under control for Utica. Stolen away by Dustin Jeffrey. Centered DeFazio scores! Curling with it along the boards, and it's blocked by Huskins. Played ahead, here's Hunter Shinkarik. Two on one with Gaunts. Shinkarik right side, rips a shot, and Clements in the same. <laughs> around him, and has the puck on the near board. Settles up for a wrist shot that's gloved down and quickly played by Mark Carrick. Stepping to the slot, Shinkarik to the backhand, drew a penalty. Puck loose in the crease, and the whistle sounds as it's tugged. Got back to it, rips it across for O'Reilly. Down in front, DeFazio has time. Whiffed on the shot. DeFazio was alone back there. <laughs> to the point. Scarlet moves it. Helgeson loads it. Threw it to the slot. It's off the skate of the goal scorer for Albany. Ben Thompson. A shot from the point. They score. Who were the uh, deciding tankers here tonight? Uh, it was a desperate hockey team. They played really hard. Uh, you know, it was a close hockey game. 2 1 game. Uh, uh, what was the deciding factor? It's tough to say. Did they do anything different from any of the other teams no. we've seen this year? No, they play hard. They're a good hockey team, just like most teams in this league. Um, 0 for 6 on the power play. Yeah. Why? <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. Do you think, you think the team was tired? <laughs> no, I, I don't know. Why would we be? They, well, played, they four, played last night. I they, mean, yeah, played, but yeah. You, you played three and four nights. Yeah. Uh, I don't think we were tired. I mean, we didn't look tired to me. We had 33 shots against a good defensive hockey team. Uh, hey, you're talking about a 2-1 hockey game where they get a seeing eye puck that goes in for the game winner and, you, and you know, a rebound goal against a team that had lost a few in a row and played very desperate. Uh, oh, there's no excuses. We weren't tired. Our power play had some looks. You're not going to score every night on the power play and They've been going good lately, but you know, we're playing a little short staff tonight. And uh, I thought our team battled hard all night. Kennedy got the game today. Uh, yep. Assessment? I thought it was good. You know, I didn't get to roll four lines. We mm -hmm. only dressed 11 forwards with uh, some guys being out. So, uh, you know. Hunter came out second period with a bit of a twinge after... Uh, Check and he come back in later on. Oh, he's fine. Um, their goal has been around a long time. Yeah, he? yeah, he's yeah, a good goalie. Think? I thought he played well. He controlled his rebounds. Um, they got a big core of big D core back there, and we had a tough time getting to some rebounds. I thought we could have won a couple more puck battles here and there, but uh, you can say that most yeah. games. A bit of weirdness in the first period with what looked to be a goal, the light went on, and then, uh, you know, some talking and John between the officials, and all of a sudden we get a penalty for too many men. Right. Can you clarify what might have happened there? Uh, you know what? Uh, we had some couple guys coming to the bench, going through one gate, and Grenz went out the other gate because he was taking a D-man, but I don't really, I, I didn't see it good enough to see if it was too many men or not. It seemed like there were a lot of people complaining tonight about the fact that there were some liberties taken by the Devils. If you look, you see them, six, seven, even eight guys on the ice. People were commenting that their changes were a little loose, too. Uh, we, we had talked about that before the call. I, I had asked the, the linesman about it. So, But that's a, that's a tough call. It's not an easy job for the refs. Those aren't easy calls to make. But you, um, you do feel the team played pretty well tonight. Oh, I mean, you don't shoot a team 33 to 22. You <laughs> you haven't played that before. I know that. Uh, without watching the game tape, uh, I thought it was a hard-fought hockey game. It probably could have gone either way. I thought their team played with a lot of heart tonight. Look, you know, they they came out hard. They played physical. I thought our guys played physical. Uh, it was a game that was going to be won and lost in the trenches. It looked like one of those games that. It was going to go. It was going to be a greasy goal that won it, and uh, unfortunately, they got it. Two more home games coming up. 
and right now still the Comets hold a large division lead as we turn towards the home stretch. Anything, uh, anything in the works coming up for the next final home stretch? Any new wrinkles you're going to throw into the office? Anything, anything you might you know? <laughs> I think you know me better than that by now. Um, <laughs> There's no new wrinkles going into the home stretch for our team. We pretty well, what you see is what you get. Dustin, uh, what, what did you see as the difference here tonight? Mm -hmm. Felt like uh, our, we had chances early in the first period. I know our line especially, we had uh, you know a couple two-on-ones in the first. And I think uh, us capitalizing on those chances and also, I don't know what we went, 0 for 5 or 0 for 6 or whatever it was on the power play, I think. Uh, that's the big difference, I think. Even if you look at tonight's game between last night's, we go two for five or whatever we did last night, we win the game, and tonight we went 0 for six, and it's a big difference. Yeah, yeah. Um, I think you were four for 10 in the last two games. Um, five for 10, something, I mean, four for 10, five four for 10. For 10. Um, uh, how about Clemenson? He's, you know, he's an old hand, he's been around for a million years. How'd you think he played? Oh, I think he played well. I think, uh, you know, he fought and he, he got a you know a pad or a knob or a blocker on a lot of shots but we have to do a better job like we had rebounds and you know those, those opportunities in the first period that we had I think uh, you know if we if we bury those and we bear down on those it could change the game people were worried coming into this weekend because we had Biega go up and because we had had uh, Corrado already up there and because we had uh, Sanguinetti go up but an excellent defensive weekend <laughs> Uh, you know, talk to us a little bit about the guys stepping up and, you know, next man up for this team. Yeah, I think that's part of being an American. I think there's always going to be call-ups and injuries, and I think, uh, you know, it starts with our goaltending. I think Marky has been, you know, unbelievable all season long, and Yoki's been really strong when he's been in, and I think, you know, those guys, uh, those guys make a lot of our mistakes look a lot better. And then, uh, you know, Blainer's played really well. Uh, you know, I think every time that franchise has been able to uh, – you know, get in the lineup. I think he's played really well. He, he skates really well, and uh, you know they get us out of a lot of trouble. So I think, you know, we, we have a lot of capable players, and I think uh, we played well that way. And I, you know, we had to do a better job offensively and score some goals. Justin, uh, did you think this team? Uh, you played three games in four nights. Was the team a little tired or no? No, I don't think that's an issue. I think, um, you know, we we had some fresh legs in the lineup. The guys that weren't didn't play in all those games either. So I think. You know, that's the way the schedule is, and it's going to be like this the rest of the year. So if we're tired now, we're going to be in for a long month and a half. The power play unit between, say, 23 and 24 in the league, however, the penalty kill number two in the league, why the big difference between the two special teams? I think they're, they're totally different. I think, you know, penalty kill, uh, I think they're just they're really different. I think if you take out the fur, like we said, the last 10 games, We've, we've scored five power play goals, so I think uh, you know we're working on it, and it's getting better. And it goes up and down throughout the season. There was a stretch there where that we uh, we couldn't score any, and that really hurts our percentages. So I think for us, you know, we're we're working on stuff, and I think we we've been good as of late. And I think if we're good, if there's any time for our power play to get going, it's it's going end of the season and into playoffs because it can make a huge difference in a in a playoff series. Actually, some good luck looks tonight, didn't you think? Or? Yeah, I thought we had some good chances. I think, like you said, uh, Clemenson played well. Like he's, he's like you said, he's been around for a while, and he he's able to make a lot of stops. But I take the chances that we had, and you know, we we had some trouble getting into the zone on a few of them. But it's just the way it goes. It's a, every night, it's a different challenge for us. And I think you know our PK has been really steady, and our our PP has been up and down. And I think we've been hot as of late. It seemed like it was one of those nights also where the deflections just didn't go on net for a change. You know, talk to us about the bad bounces. Talk to us about uh, you know some of those missed opportunities that really didn't seem to be the Comets fault. It just happened that they didn't go in. Uh, yeah, I think hockey's a game of bounces. I think, um, like I said earlier in the first period, we had some glorious chances. And I think throughout the game, we, we had our opportunities. And I think as a team, we just have to do a better job. We. You know, we're always going to give our effort and we're always going to play, like have a good PK we've had this year and we're going to play physical. But I think for us, we have to consciously make an effort to, to get pucks to the net and get bodies there. And, you know, we got to be able to score some dirty goals in tight games like this.